Russia's actions are a problem. They don't pose the number one national security threat to the United States. I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan. Now, there's no reason for him to bring that up. Would you like to elaborate, Mr. Obama? and tell us why you think that? Would you like to tell us why the United States started setting up dozens and dozens and dozens of missile defense shields on the Arctic coast instead of the west and east coasts? Barry? Hello, Barry. Yeah, he's not there. Here's the newspaper, very nice day. In Nuke in New York City, Mr. President. Hold it up here so our viewers can see it. It says, thanks for sharing a Nuke at NYC, Mr. President, question mark, and it has a nice little mushroom cloud there, so it brings it to life for all of us. I mean, Frank. We do face nuclear threats. I'm not sure that the most important one is a bomb in New York City. I'm at least as concerned about a bomb over New York City, or for that matter, over now, folks, like I keep telling you, if you're going to set off a nuclear weapon in this country, you're going to do it in more than one city. That's for damn sure. It's already in all the military manuals on how to prepare for it and all that good stuff. So they know. They've covered every base. Speaking of covered every base, uh, a lot of bases on the West Coast evacuated years ago so he's bringing up the point of well, what happens if you can just overthrow a government whenever the fuck you want to like the US did with Ukraine folks had, had three governments in there in less than a year duly elected governments the people elected them the government overthrew them the people elected him, and the government overthrew him. Folks, the United States has overthrown, overthrown at least the CIA has admitted to overthrowing 52 countries. That's at least 100. By the way, England has invaded 122 countries. The other 22 countries not touched. Probably because they're indigenous. Not that they want. City, or for that matter, over Cleveland or over Omaha. Omaha. That would unleash something called electromagnetic pulse. We've been learning a lot, thanks in part to your programming about the vulnerability of our electric grid, it would mean mm -hmm. not just the loss of a city, horrible as that would be, but conceivably the loss of the power that supplies the entire country. Now, folks, like I said, actually half the country is powered by the Hoover Dam. A major portion of the other half is powered by, I think, Quebec. 
pretty sure. Yeah, Quebec, their shit, or Montreal, they power New York City. They power New Jersey, they power Connecticut, the whole Northeast. Folks may remember that big old blackout a few years back. So it's nice how they got chain reactions now, which is what they're going to do, folks. They're going to come out one day. Oh, my God. The economy has crashed. And then that's going to crash. And then that's going to crash. And then a fucking nuclear weapon's going to go off. And then that's going to crash. And that's going to crash. And someone's going to get assassinated. And then a fucking nuclear weapon's going to go off. They're going to bring this fucking country to its knees. They're gonna, they're gonna be killing us, folks. It ain't gonna be our troops on the streets, you morons. Our troops are overseas. Hello. They're spread out all over the fucking world. 119 countries, I think. Why? Are we at war with 119 countries, folks? Well, we are now since we just bombed the shit out of them for no apparent reason. Time is a bitch. Always comes back around, and it's about that time. I'm telling you folks, assassinations are due. They're way overdue, actually. Have a listen. NATO leaders agreed on Sunday to implement a new European Missile Defense Shield. The decision was openly defiant toward Russia, which says that the system could be used to stop its own nuclear missiles and therefore would undermine its nuclear deterrence. Folks, take a look. This blue fence here. That's the intended route of a already sailed you can see it says Robinson projection and that's what the earth looks like by the way minus Antarctica so here you can see starting points and ending points at two different points combining back together over here now as far as missile defense systems go this is supposed to be the intended route of a rocket. What did you think it would be up here, folks? I don't know. What the fuck do I know? I'm not a missile commander. Okay, I can't find the exact picture right now, but let me point out for you. Imagine this is Canada. And this down here is the United States. In Canada, and then behind Canada, then starts the Arctic Circle. That's where they have bulleted missile defense systems. I can understand Russia, okay, but we're also talking the Arctic Circle here. Wouldn't you put most of these on the coasts? How would you put them where they're less likely to do it? You don't put a small amount on the coast. This is just stupid. And why the fuck would you need that many on the Arctic Circle coast? Well, I can tell you something else that's close to their folks. I can tell you that the United States and Russia don't even have their shields pointed at each other. Pointed at somebody. Pointed towards the inner earth. In case you folks don't know about the Brill Society, Hitler got all of his information from them. When him and his team went down there, they met with these people. 
and they had the UFOs and shit. People who were living in the inner earth. Now that is a fact on record. Admiral Byrd has several stories about it. There's no debating that one. So, folks, I myself and a lot of other people too think that they're using the flat earth, hollow earth, and globe earth to combine together as something. Somehow. They're going to implement all of them together somehow for some reason. Uh, it's just really too weird. Um, in case you don't know, this is the hollow earth. Agartha. He's the inner sun. They're called the central sun. If you will hear, hear people tell the story, they will say there's just a small obelisk and on top of it is a small device as bright as the sun. I'm going to show you how a sun almost sets. Really doesn't though. And folks, look at all these here. These uh, orange lines. This is the surface of the earth out here. So these are tunnels from certain countries like Brazil. There's tunnels into the inner earth. Alright. We got granite and cobalt, plastic, and all sorts of shit. All sorts of minerals and stuff out here. Caves and stuff. This is Admiral Byrd's flight. He flew in, and when he flew in, he says something of a tractor beam took control of his aircraft and brought him in and landed him. Okay. He says he met with this guy. Uh, when you hear him talk about him, he's obviously describing the devil. The god of the inner earth. The underworld. Okay, folks, I made this nice and big so you can have a good look. Look at this man's eyes. This is not magic. These are evil entities at fucking work. These are not friendly ghosts. Anything on the other side is evil. I don't give a fuck if it sounds like your mommy or your daddy. Because apparently these spirits can replicate up to 97% of any voice. See his eyes? Okay, regular eyes folks. Look at this one begin to change and then this one will and there's just no magic behind this. Now watch this show. Switches his eyes at what? Like a fucking chameleon. You want to know what's holding that ball there? A demon is holding that ball there. Nothing but a demon. No magic. No nothing. No strings. It's the fucking demon. Not your friend. Okay, so we're going to check out some more videos. And, um, let's see the flying triangle flying pyramid. We're going somewhere good with this. It gets very, very interesting. And to think we haven't 
see nothing yet. That's it for now. God bless. Carry on.